Hey, this is Mr. Ward, and we're going to do an exit ticket video key for pre-algebra exit ticket 21.1. And here we go. Number one, simplify this expression. I've got 75x to the fifth times 8x. So the 7 and the 8 are just 7 to the first and 8 to the first, and I just multiply those times each other. So I've got 7 times 8, and then the x to the fifth times, and the x become x to the fifth times x to the first. So that's x to the fifth times x to the first, which of course is gonna simplify. I'm gonna, I'm gonna group some things just to make it really clear what's happening here. So I've got seven times eight, and I've got this x to the fifth times x to the first. Now the x to the fifth times x to the first can become x to the five, plus one, because I've got now five factors of x here and one more factor of x there, and that becomes x to the sixth, and seven times eight becomes 56. And then I can drop my parentheses, and I've got 56x to the sixth, and that is the answer. That is the simplification of that. <clears throat> We're gonna simplify this next expression. If you can figure out how to express it only using only positive exponents, do that. If not, that's okay. So I'm going to start off by simplifying it without positive exponents. So I'm going to have 5, and I've got 5t to the negative 2 and times 2t to the negative 5. Now, these exponents only affect the t's. They have nothing to do with the 5 and the 2. So let's start by dealing with the 5 and 2. 5 and 2 are just numbers, so that's 5 times 2, which is 10. And then t to the negative 2 and t to the negative 5, I've got two of the same base, so that's going to be times t raised to the negative 2 plus negative 5 powers. I'm not sure that registered, negative 5 power. And so that will simplify. That t, I'm going to put those in parentheses. Negative 2 plus negative 5 will be negative 7. So that's going to be t to the negative 7 power. Now, if I want to make that, express that without negative exponents, remember that if I hop that base across the fraction bar, it changes the sign as the sign of the exponent. This is the same as saying 10 divided by 2 to the 7th. So we're going to say 10 over t to the positive 7th power. So I just, all I did was I hopped this t to the negative seventh over the fraction bar down into the denominator position. And since this is saying I'm using t as a divisor seven times, not a factor seven times, factor negative seven times, which means a divisor seven times, that means putting in the denominator and raising that to the seventh power does the job. This is saying 10 divided by a divisor of t seven times. So I'm going to use t as a divisor seven times. So it's t divided, sorry, 10 divided by t, 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 divided by t. Or more easily stated, 10 over t to the positive seventh. Anytime you move an exponential expression across the fraction bar boundary, it changes the sign of the exponent. How many factors of d are there here? Number three. And based on that, please simplify this expression. Over here, I'm using d to the third as a factor zero times. So who cares about that anymore? That's just going to be a big fat no factors of d. Okay, so I'm using d to the third zero times, so who cares about it? Here I'm using d to the third five times. So d to the third five times means I'm using five sets of D. That is the most amazing drawing of a D you've ever seen. So that becomes D to the three times five power. Because otherwise you're saying D to the third times 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 D to the third. And that's really annoying. We're using five sets of three factors of D. So we may as well write it as this, which becomes 15 factors. So that's 15 factors of D. Okay, so that's our first answer. And we're using zero factors of d in the other expression. So it's just 15 factors of d. And so this simplifies as d to the 15th power. 
right, the last one here, how many factors of five are in the numerator and how many are in the denominator? Well, I've got two and then three more in the numerator. I've got three and then two more in the denominator. So that means we have two plus three factors in the numerator. So five in numerator, there's five factors in the numerator and three plus two factors in the denominator. Five factors in the denominator. Okay, so that means I've got five factors here, five factors of five and five factors of five in the denominator. And so that means those are going to cancel each other out. That's 5 to the 5th over 5 to the 5th. And you can pretty much immediately see this is going to equal 1. This is going to end up being 5 to the 5 minus 5 power based on the quotient law for division. And that just ends up being 5 to the 0 power which is one. And there we go. We've simplified it. I hope that helps.